Part of what makes Scala so powerful is the fact that you can nest things inside of one another. And right now we're basically getting the first ability to see that with the fact that we can stick ifs inside of one another. So when I write one if, I can have in either the true branch or the false branch have other ifs, and then inside of those I can have other ifs, and I can nest it pretty much arbitrarily, deeply, if I want. So, to illustrate this, we could, I'm just going, I'm not going to write valid Scala here, uh, because I don't feel like putting in the prints and, and read lines. But if, for example, we were ordering stuff at a movie theater, I could have it so that there were a number of different orders. Maybe you just order uh, you know, food or a drink or a combo. Um, let's actually, let's go ahead. If Foo, if order equals food, if order equals drink, and then for each one of these I could have a size, and so I need another if inside of that. One of the things to note here, so because order is probably going to be something like a val. Actually, we could make it so this isn't quite as explicit. Read line. So we can get our order. We check it here. If order is equal to food, there's no way that it can also be equal to drink. And so for that reason, a lot of times we'd stick this other one inside of an else. Now. If we completely nest it inside of there, it would look like this. So we would want to indent that. And then inside of the else here, we would indent this. And I'd close that off. And this is perfectly allowed. This is happy syntax. It's nice to put in unmatched close up because I forgot to open my curly brace there. Do I have another one? Nope. Hi. Okay. So this works, but it's not how people will typically type this in. If your else has only an if inside of it, it's standard to shorten it up by saying else if and then you don't have to indent everything else if that else and you'll note that there aren't nearly as many closed curly braces when I do it that way and then I we can actually nest stuff inside of here so val size equals read line so that we have it defined if size equals equals S. Actually, let's make it so that if size starts with the letter S, and because that's more robust, if you typed in just an S or you type in SM or you type in small, it still works. And I want to go even further than that. I want to say to lowercase. Let's run that real fast. Legal sort of expression. Okay. I always have to check that because I never can remember if two lowercase the if the C in lowercase should be capitalized. Yep, it should be. Okay, so that runs. So if it's if the size as a lowercase starts with an S, then I will, you know, I could print something, but of course, most time I want this to be a value. Like I wanna know how much you're going to spend here. Uh, so this is gonna be 2.0. So 
So I'm actually in this case making a really a large expression by nesting ifs. Y y paste else if it starts with an M for medium, then it's 250. And if it starts with an L for large, then it'll be $3. And I could put a similar type of if inside of each of these. And in this case, we don't know what the heck you ordered. We're not going to charge you anything for it. Print line price. I could actually go ahead and copy seven lines there, paste it there, paste it there. So if it's just a drink, we'll take everything down by a dollar. And if it's a combo, we'll add a dollar. Sure. Uh, our combo here is absolutely no savings over food and a drink, but that's that's not what we're trying to illustrate. This doesn't have to have good. Uh, so if I go for a combo of size medium, we get 350 out. And the point here is that I can create ifs. Uh, if we're nesting things only inside of the else and it's another if, we typically use a shorter syntax of an else if. And I can stick full ifs. Uh, with their else's or else ifs or whatever I want inside of ifs. And you can nest this to whatever depth you want, whatever makes sense for your problem. Obviously, if you go beyond a certain depth, um, it might stop making sense and it might be harder for, for people to read it. Uh, we'll learn later ways that we can break up our problems better so that if something like this started to get overly complex, we could simplify it in various ways.